Hello guys, and today we have finally a career mode, which I know a couple of you guys have been mentioning in the comments you should do a full career mode with a team, you know, after you've done all these future buys and future sells, and I finally finished that series off because of the fact that, you know, I just wanted to do the BPL and then do some other teams after that and then finish it, because, you know, it's getting a bit tiring for you guys to watch, like I say, some of you guys are leaving some teams down below to do, like League 2 teams, League 1 teams, you know, getting them into the BPL and making them, you know, rich and become you know good in the end which was a good idea don't get me wrong but a lot of people I have seen do that have um, you know given up so you know halfway through given up halfway through and like I say just you know didn't play it so I thought well I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do a team that I want to do so I chose Spurs because they have 17 and a half million to spend which is not too bad and you know I'd set us above average for, for me I'd say average is about 15 million you know I said it's about above average 17 and a half and also they have a good team see here now just adjusting the team to my formation which is a 3-5-2 and if I wanted to I could have moved the right mid and left mid just in between the centre attacking mid and the striker to make them sort of like wingers which I could have done and but um, playing the right mid and left mid they can move back and act as left backs as well uh, well left back and right back and they can defend as well so which is not too bad but if you have a low attacking, a low defensive work rate, it's not going to work, is it? So um, you can see here on screen I'm going to go through and sell some of the players, put some out on loan and so yeah and so the reason why I chose Spurs like I say once again is because it's in the BPL I didn't want to choose a team which everyone has done like I say I don't really see many Spurs career modes going on probably because I'm not subscribed to anyone that's done one but I thought it would be a good team to do because you know it's 17 and a half million I can make some good signings and you know I want to be able to use Bale because a lot of people say he's a really good player on the game as well and plus they've got Holtby now who's a really good player I've got to admit on ultimate team he's really good for long shots so hopefully in this career mode I'll have a go a couple of long shots with him because I, uh, I, I I tried him and long shots with him is absolutely amazing so anyway guys like I say so we go ahead and make our first signing which is Muriel so a lot of people know him from Cal Freeze's career mode you know and then from, then from then onwards a lot of people have used him and so like I say I just say he's a really good player because you know it's a pace and he's got decent finishing for his overall and you know his overall does go up really quick I've got to admit that I started this career mode with I think it was I don't know who it was with Man City just buying all the young players I bought Muriel and within you know, one season he went up like four overalls and that was just by simming games so he's a good player and then we will make a signing with Oxley Chamberlain because of the fact that I really like Oxley Chamberlain as well one of my favorite players in the game and he can play on the right mid and Bale can play on the left mid and before the signing of Oxley Chamberlain um, we went in for Ogbonna who in the end we didn't end up signing just for the simple fact that he cost 16 and a half million I didn't want to pay that much for Ogbonna and I could have bought someone else who you'll see later on in the video and then we go in for that centre defensive mid who in the end I realised they had two good centre defensive mids so I didn't want to buy them so in the end, I just ended up, you know, not buying him. And you can see that Ogbonna for 16 and a half. I did not want to pay that much. And so Arsenal let Oxley Chamberlain, you know, go into talks with me. And so I offered him what he wanted. And in the end, he came back saying, yeah, I'll join. So that's really good for him. And Moriel, like I say again, he will join as well. So I really think this career mode will go far. And I don't know if you guys want me to do anything like do... Uh, no, what's it called now? The scout superstar thing, where you get that scout to go out and he finds like a you know new Messi, the new Ronaldo sort of thing. So none of you guys want me to do that. If you do, leave a comment down below. But hey, um, uh, but after this, I'm gonna probably go record another episode. So you know, I have one to go up the day after. So just for the simple fact that, so if I, if you do recommend anything, it'll happen maybe a couple of episodes later. But like I say, anyway. So if you don't want me to do that, I will and also if you want me to do that money takeover thing so in case you want me to go ham and just buy a complete whole team which you know will grow over time I will do that and so with a money takeover thing I can buy players like Neymar you know all the other sort of players you want me to buy so that's if you want me to do that but I'm really interested in the scouts because I really think that will be good but with a money takeover I really think the team at this point is fine you know it's fine to play I'll be happy with this team but I just think with a money takeover I wouldn't really know who to buy because say if I buy Neymar I put him on the right, but then there'll be no point in me buying Oxley Chamberlain, and you know, so on and so forth. So, there'll be no really point in that. But if there, you want me to do that and leave some good signings down below, that'd be good. And so, yeah. And so, like I say, as well, there's some other players that you guys want me to buy, leave them in the comments down below because I know there's players like what's his name now, Piazon from Chelsea. He got an upgrade as well, I think. Uh, Sterling, I know he got an upgrade. 
I'll definitely be trying him out. I want to buy him, but he's worth about six million because I downloaded the latest updates, which is the winter upgrades. So we've got all them now. So like I say, that's why Oxford Chamberlain now plays on the right mid, uh, right wing. Sorry. So like I say, you want me to buy some of those players? I'll be buying them in January and we'll be playing them towards the end of the season. So the next season starts, I can put them out on loan. That's why I want to sort of buy them. So that will happen there, and then also, so yeah. So anyway, guys, this episode is coming to an end now. We're just selling some other players, and at the end, an offer comes in from Brian Munich for uh, Aaron Leonard, which is a surprise offer just because of the fact that he goes for eight million, which I wouldn't have thought they would have been that much. But anyway, so like I say, this episode is going to come to an end. So hopefully, you guys, do enjoy this um, career mode, just for the simple fact that I really do think you will. And that I will go all the way with this team, and maybe every season I'll swap to another team. You know, when I see what other offers there are, I'll swap to another team. Just leave some comments down below, guys, and I will um, play to them all and see what you guys think. So, yeah, um, that's all it is now, guys, and I will see you all next time, guys. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.